is known as Sweet Hands Game Plan. See the Mexican monster this Saturday, and there's no doubt uh, he's gonna put this guy to sleep. So let me bring to the podium now. This young man is just 30 years old. He's 22 and one. He's got 13 knockouts. He is Caleb Sweethand playing. What's going on, everybody? My name is Caleb Plant, and I worked really hard at this camp. And on Saturday, March 25th, you're going to get knocked out. <laughs> Go to sleep again. You know, what's going on, everybody? Um, appreciate all y'all showing up today. Um, 
Thank you. Glad that you guys are here. We're going to put on a big fight this Saturday. That's what boxing needs. That's what it's about. I want to thank um, Al Heyman, Luis Cubas. Obviously, thank Stephen Espinosa and Showtime. And uh, really want to thank Al Heyman and Luis Cubas because uh, boxing needs big fights. And uh, they've been linking up with fighters and getting big fights made. So that's exactly what boxing needs. So salute to y'all. And um, I worked extremely hard for this fight. I'm ready. And um, actually, somebody you know, let me know. Hey, tell your boy that I'm already on the way. Right? But that don't mean shit to me. And I don't care if you're already on weight. That, you don't, that's not bragging rights. I brought my mouthpiece in my cup with me this week. But I don't need a pat on the back for it. That's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to be on weight. So, welcome to the club. And you know, you got your newfound muscles that you've been showing off all week. Welcome to the club. That's what happens when you work hard and put everything. I don't need the right opponent in front of me to say, hey, oh, this time I got the right guy in front of me. I'm a... I'm going to get after it now. I've been walking that straight line. I've been this discipline. I don't need the right opponent in front of me to, you know, motivate me to give him my all and give him my best. I've been doing that my whole life since I was a little kid. So uh, Saturday night, you got a real one in front of you. I'm not some blown up 154 pounder. I'm not a 160 pounder blown up with a two week notice. I'm the real deal. And you're going to find out on Saturday. I promise you that. Whoa. Coming to the podium. He's a former two-time WBC super middleweight champion of the world. Just 25 years old. 26 and 0. He's got 23 knockouts. They call him the Mexican monster. He's Yeah, yeah, you can do anything. I beat his ass. Yeah, but when he fights a true super middleweight like Muscatech, he's fucking 
Because I can split open. Because From a headbutt. Yeah, I got kind of yeah, but that was a punch. You know what it is? When you fight two knockdowns, you know, I got my hand raised. Yeah. World champion. Yeah. I didn't win no world title against Ronald Graville. I didn't get dropped by Ronald Graville. Yeah, I fought a real deal. I won a title. world title at 20 real. years old. The youngest super against who? Against that's who? What, you at 20 years against old? Who? You won a title at 20 years old? Against who? I still wonder what was the against youngest who? super world title. I mean, you know what I mean? So Jose was about to get in and drop me. Did Ronald Reveal drop Yeah, you almost knocked him the fuck out. You no, but he didn't drop him. Ronald Reveal dropped him, yes. Canelo. And you got knocked the fuck out by Canelo. So every time he fights a real, true super middleweight, he gets hurt. He gets hurt and gets knocked out. So we're in the seat. You know, he's going to be in there with the true super middleweight. The hardest and most accurate super middleweight in his weight class. So we're in the seat. What's up? Gail, um, I know you've watched tons of videos of this guy. You've seen him fight uh, a number of times. If you could say something positive about David Benavides, what would you say about David Benavides as a fighter? Well, um, I have to think for a little bit. You know, um, you know, David's a good fighter, and again, you know, it's the first press conference. He likes to make it seem like I'm not a good fighter, I'm a bum, I'm this, but if I'm a bum, I'm fight me. I know David's not a bum, I'm not interested in fighting bums. I'm interested in fighting good fighters. Because that's what boxing needs, that's what the fan needs, and most importantly, that's what I want, that's what I need for my legacy. And that's why I'm here. David, same question. I know you've seen plenty of video. Caleb Plant. Tell us, good David, what you've seen out of Caleb Plant. Why does makes it such a great fight? He's a good boxer. He's, he's a good speed. He moves around really good. Um, but this, like I said, like how he said, I don't want to fight no bulls anymore. I want the real deal. And, um, I've heard everybody I've got the agreement. You know, I can't say the same for him. So I, I know I have power. You know what I mean? So we're ready. We're ready to see you put Caleb Plant's chin to the test. And I, I guarantee you he's going to be hurt this week. You know, everybody probably wants to know this, too. When you talk about 168 pounds, we know there's an undisputed champion. But in your opinion, okay, the winner of this fight is where? Where does this person, where does that person rank when you talk about 168? I think it puts him right there, uh, you know, up at the top. As of now, you know, Canelo has that title, and rightfully so. He's undisputed. Uh, he's a future Hall of Famer. He's, you know, could be considered all-time great. And, um, you know, I'm super motivated for this fight. I, I want to be able to write along, but, you know, first things first, I want to, I want to, and I'm going to handle business on Saturday. Dave, same question. Where's the winner along with 168? I'm um, fighting for all the belts, but I'm not worried about, I'm not worried about anything else besides this fight. You know, my mind and my focus is set on the plan this Saturday. So we'll end it with this. For, you know this arena's going to be sold out. Number of pay per view buys. All those people that spend their hard earned money because they want to see Caleb Plant, they want to see David Benavides get it on. Caleb Plant, what do you guarantee they're going to get on Saturday night? You're going to see me get my hair raised. That's what I'm guaranteeing. David Benavides, what do you guarantee they're going to get on Saturday night? They're going to see me break Caleb, Jans uh, Caleb Plant's fucking jaw on Saturday night. About the six round, right? Yeah. About the six round. About the six round. Is that? Folks, there you have it. It's the fight we all have been wanting to see. David Benavides, Caleb Plant, Showtime pay-per-view. It comes your way uh, this Saturday, 9 o'clock Eastern. That is 6 o'clock Pacific time. we got to remind you, of course, this fight is being brought to you by Premier Boxing Champions. It's also being brought to you by DraftKings Sportsbook. Action so good, why bet on boxing anywhere else? and by Big George Foreman, exclusively in movie theaters April 28th. Tickets are on sale now. It's rated PG-13. You can get your tickets at AXS.com. We will see you on Showtime pay-per-view Saturday night and at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Guys, can we get a face-off? Can we get a face-off? <laughs> Guys, let's keep on these hands. Here we go. This is what we want. Caleb Plant, David Benavides, the two top fighters at 168 pounds. This has been a grudge match that goes back over five years, and they finally get the opportunity to settle the score in the ring. This is it. The unbeaten David Benavides. Take it on, Caleb Glenn. Guys, if you can face the cameras for us, just take a, take a turn to
towards the cameras, boys. Thank you for showtime. That's it. That's good. Turn towards the cameras. Benavides versus Plant. Showtime pay per view. Saturday night. The best versus the best. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, we'll see you Saturday night on Showtime Pay Per View from the MGM Brand Guard Arena here in Las Vegas. Back here, fellas. <laughs> Two top fighters in 168, everybody. You got this, Caleb. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. We'll see you Saturday night on Showtime Pay-Per-View from the MTM.